One of Hollywood's most powerful couples is calling it quits. Angelina Jolie has reportedly filed for divorce from Brad Pitt. While the couple had been only married for two years, they've been together for the past 12. According to People and TMZ, court documents say that they've obtained uh, those court documents obtained by those publications rather show Jolie has asked for physical custody of all six of their children. In a statement, Pitt said, quote, I am very saddened by this, but what matters most now is the well-being of our kids. And joining us is family law attorney and author Suzanne Grandchamp and licensed social worker Michael Broviak. Did mm -hmm. I get it right? You got it. I'm close <laughs> enough. <laughs> Why do we get invested in these sort of relationships? We don't even know these people. Is it because these are kind of the things that we go through too in life? Well, I think that's exactly right. I think those, <clears throat> it kind of mimics what we experience in our personal lives. And so we kind of like to see how other people go about it, especially professionals. Um, or I should say those in the in the public eye. Mm -hmm. And Michael, what do you think? Well, I, I think it's just a challenging experience for any family going through mm -hmm. divorce. And I think people are curious. Uh, I'm probably going to watch and hopefully they'll uh, look out for their kids. They make sure they're, they're being inoculated from the conflict that can happen in divorce. Yeah. I think a lot of people liked this particular couple. We were talking about this earlier. Yeah. My heart hurt <laughs> when I heard about it, only because I feel like Angelina Jolie specifically has gone out into the world and, and done a lot through United Nations and that sort of thing for mm -hmm. children particularly. But is there anything that we all could learn in terms of what we need to do better by our neighbors and our friends whom we actually know? I mean, is there some sort of privacy that we should be granting or support that we need to learn from how uh, Pitt and Jolie are now going to be handling this? Well, I think that's a really good question. I, I think that um, it's an opportunity to be supportive of your neighbor, to be mm -hmm. supportive of your friend. You know, there's all sorts of resources for people who, who go through losing um, a spouse to death. But there, mm -hmm. those those resources and that support sometimes people are not as comfortable extending them to someone going maybe through a divorce. It feels awkward, especially if the friend knew the couple. Mm -hmm. And so I say reach out and ask. Mm -hmm. Ask what you can do to be helpful during this this trying and difficult time. Well, let's talk about the kids too because you mentioned them briefly mm -hmm. but uh, a lot of people there's a lot of fighting there's a lot of anger but it's important to remember at the end of the day that there's little beings that were involved in this that don't have anything to do with the divorce. I think that's a great point I think we need to remember that um, children are resilient and can work their way with support through a divorce. It's the conflict that hurt, hurts kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's when parents stay in conflict and don't figure out how to work things through. That's where the harm comes for kids. So absolutely, families going through divorce need to um, get support that's helpful to them, finding resources that can help them navigate the, the really difficult things that they're gonna experience. You have some resources right here. That's, <laughs> that's, that's right. Absolutely. Great book. Suzanne has a book, uh, Marriages and Families Don't Divorce Wisely. So yes. if there's anybody out there that's going through this, and you guys have an event that's coming up as well. Is that right? right? So tell we, us a little bit about that. We have an event coming up on Saturday, October 15th. It's from 8 a.m. in the morning to 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's at the Double Tree by Hilton over off of Park Place in 394. And it's designed to provide encouragement, education, and resources um, for men and women going through the process of divorce. We're going to have all sorts of experts like Michael there from Traverse Counseling, Elisa Byrne from UBS, who's a certified divorce financial analyst, among many others. And it's just going to be a great place to get educated about the process. Right. Very good. Good advice. Thank you so much for being with us, both of you, Suzanne and Thank Michael. You. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Again, that eighth annual Divorcing Divas Conference is October 15th in Minneapolis. We'll be right back.